Here's your Alabama WX weather briefing for this Tuesday morning. It's Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you out there on this beautiful but chilly Tuesday morning. Bright sunshine greeting the day out there across north and central Alabama on this Christmas Eve morning. But temperatures are chilly. The 20s over the Tennessee Valley, right around freezing in the I-20 corridor, dropping uh, or a little bit warmer than that to the south, middle 30s across south central Alabama. But temperatures are going to warm up just a little bit more today. Still chilly yesterday, not really warm today, really about near seasonal norms. High temperatures today are going to look like this. Uh, across North Alabama, 55 to 57 in the I-20 corridor. You can expect about 58 to 60 degrees, uh, maybe 59 down there around Auburn. That's thanks to the easterly uh, wind. Uh, you'll see in a moment on the uh, surface high, uh, the surface map showing that uh, high pressure pushing easterly winds, that bit of an easterly wedge giving us a bit of a cooling component. Uh, lower 60s uh, across south central Alabama, but the entire day should be uh, mostly sunny. A few clouds uh, popping in from time to time, but we'll call it mostly sunny. Uh, about 80-85% of uh, possible sunshine today, and uh, that's not too bad. We'll take it. Let's go to the upper pattern across North America um, on this Tuesday morning and um, take a peek at uh, what's going on real quickly so you can get a, a picture for what's going to happen uh, in coming days uh, in coming days here uh, right now we've got uh, that disturbance uh, passing off the coast of uh, the northeastern United States that's causing uh, lots of winter weather advisories a couple of winter storm warnings some heavy snow uh, really from central New York uh, all the way through Vermont, New Hampshire, into Maine, into northern Pennsylvania. Uh, further south, it's a mix. Uh, some snow, some freezing rain, uh, down as far south as Baltimore, Washington areas, where winter weather advisories are in effect this morning. It's going to be a bit of a hazardous drive, but fortunately, uh, most folks uh, stay home from work today uh, in those areas. Not everyone, of course, but uh, most everyone. Just uh, errands uh, for some folks uh, to get ready for the last minute uh, things to do uh, for Christmas Eve. But um, across, uh, really across here in uh, Texas, uh, we've got uh, an upper level disturbance there. That short wave trough uh, will be uh, sort of the next weather maker, but it's going to mainly affect areas uh, to the west of Alabama. That system deepens in response to a, a building ridge to the back of it, to the rear of it, uh, and that trough sort of takes on a bit of a, a negative tilt. And uh, that could spell severe weather later today for the upper Texas coast, uh, the east Texas coastal plain, uh, areas there um, like Lufkin, uh, areas Houston, north of Houston, could see some strong storms later today and tonight. Uh, those will push east into Mississippi tomorrow, um, but they're not going to be as strong when they do. They'll weaken as they push east. You see that system sort of falls apart. just has a hard time dealing with the high pressure. But another system is locking into place right behind it. It moves into Oklahoma by Thursday night. Then by Friday, it's taking on a bit of a negative tilt, taking more of a northerly track, uh, moving up through Arkansas. It's near Little Rock uh, Thursday night. Friday morning, it's passing into Missouri and uh, pushing on out of the area. Now, we have these little bouts of ridging in between these systems. But here comes the next system taking a run at it. Uh, this is for Saturday night into Sunday, and that may be that may give the um, frontal boundary enough impetus uh, to push on into Alabama and give us some decent rainfall amounts, uh, probably late Saturday, uh, moving out Sunday. But you can see the train continues. There's another disturbance moving through the Ohio Valley for New Year's Eve. That means probably another glancing uh, chance of showers for us. Ridging builds in quickly, though. Uh, but um, right on the heels of that, we've got another system. Um, again, you see this high pressure pretty impervious to these little disturbances, uh, but it'll um, 
uh, you know, keep getting battered, and here comes a stronger system uh, by the night of the third, and uh, it just keeps sending the best it's got. Boy, I tell you what, California's getting battered. You see, part of the Santa Cruz um, uh, wharf actually fell into the ocean, um, and they had to rescue some folks. But you see, uh, there's an endless parade of weather systems coming across all the way through the two-week period, and uh, that means that we're going to, um, you know, be dealing with pretty much uh, more of the same. Now, this is uh, the GFS. We're going to use the 18Z run as our model of choice. I think it settled into a decent consensus with the European and uh, gives us the best look at the forecast uh, kind of over the next several days. And uh, we'll put that in motion and um, get this interactive here. This is uh, the surface look here uh, on this uh, Tuesday morning, Christmas Eve, uh, showing high pressure uh, over Alabama in the southeast, keeping us, um, keeping us dry and mostly sunny. You see the activity there uh, over the northeast, a um, little bit of precipitation here. It's gone by noon, the uh, freezing rain is. And uh, most of that uh, precipitation over the northeast exits pretty quickly. We've been talking about this inverted trough or low pressure center that's uh, off the coast of the Carolinas, bringing them a few showers, but uh, it's beginning to move away. And if you look back to the west, you see this system here uh, tonight in eastern Texas, uh, causing some rain and storms from Texarkana back through Longview and Marshall uh, into eastern Texas College Station. Could see a strong storm or two out there tonight, but as this moves into Louisiana and rotates northeastward into Mississippi, uh, you know, during the day on Christmas Day, uh, it will weaken. Uh, we stay dry, you see here, uh, Tuesday, all day Tuesday we're dry, Wednesday we're dry. And um, it's going to take until Wednesday night for a few of these showers to work into southwestern Alabama. But you, again, you know that disturbance from the upper pattern is weakening. And uh, here at the surface with the precipitation type, you see that's also happening uh, as we get into Thursday. This is noon on Thursday. Uh, that's weakening, falling apart. We might see a scattered shower or two Thursday morning. We're going to remain mostly cloudy. Lots of moisture trapped in the atmosphere. High pressure there over the Virginia-North Carolina border um, kind of reestablishes its hold. Um, keeping it at keeping all these systems at bay, sort of a, a, a force field uh, protecting us. This is um, uh, well going back through Thursday. We stay mainly dry. It looks like uh, Friday morning uh, the system sort of pushes into northwest Alabama. Maybe a scattered shower develops, but this is a good sign for the Birmingham Bowl, uh, Georgia Tech and Vandy at um, progress or uh, at Protective Stadium. Uh, gates open at 1 o'clock. Uh, kickoff is at 2.30. It's going to be a fabulous football game, and it looks like the weather's going to be good. Uh, high uh, temperature's going to be warming into the uh, lower 60s during the game. Looks like we'll be dry, uh, maybe just mostly cloudy uh, at worst. But you see, uh, by Friday evening, showers are moving into Alabama. But again, they're having a hard time. You see, they sort of get repelled. It's like uh, invaders at the gate, and they just can't um, they just can't get any further. Uh, but by you know late Saturday, it looks like most of Saturday's dry again. Uh, probably a good bit of cloudiness around, but we'll be warming up even further. High temperatures on Saturday, uh, probably getting up to around 62 in North Alabama, 65 across the central part of the state. We'll be near, you know, 68 or so over south central Alabama. But the system finally makes its way into Alabama. Rain, maybe some embedded thunder, um, just doesn't have a look of anything that could uh, present a severe weather threat, though. And that's good news. Uh, we'll take that. This is moving through Sunday morning. Looks like the rain could hold on into Sunday morning. We'll call for showers and then some embedded thunder. Uh, starting off around 54 uh, on average uh, on Sunday morning with, um, you know, temperatures warmer than normal in the lower to middle 60s on Sunday. Uh, maybe some clearing late in the day. I think the clearing holds off till the evening, though. 
And uh, it looks like uh, with that ridge building in for Monday, um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day. Uh, high temperatures in the 60s, uh, after morning lows in the 40s, and uh, it should be uh, a mix of sun and clouds. Now, as we move into New Year's Eve, remember we had that little disturbance kind of passing to the north. It looks like it deals us a glancing blow. Um, you know, this is, um, you know, the morning hours on Tuesday. Uh, so going from the overnight Monday night into the uh, into the morning hours on Tuesday, maybe a few showers. They continue into the afternoon hours. They begin to sort of fall apart during the evening. That's good news uh, for your evening festivities. We ring in the new year. Uh, 2025 arrives uh, on Wednesday. Uh, this is the pre-dawn hours. Uh, maybe a few showers hanging around. I think those showers will be a part of the um, a part of the forecast for Wednesday for your New Year's Day as you're enjoying your your cabbage and your hopping John and your and your black eyed peas. Uh, but as you get as we move toward the second uh, the day after New Year's, it looks like more showers uh, back in the forecast. We're sort of in a warm sector. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of embedded thunder there. That hangs on into the. Um, uh, morning hours of the third, uh, and it really doesn't go away. Uh, another system gets organized, locks into place, developing low pressure there, sub 1,000 millibar low pressure center uh, to the east of Cincinnati. That system moving on, we could see some thunder out of that one too. Doesn't have a severe look though, uh, produces some snows to the north. Uh, looks like the fourth is uh, dry for us, looks like maybe the fifth is dry. Uh, but then another system quickly organizes uh, there by the night of the 6th into the 7th and uh, it moves on through and you can already see another system developing on the tail of that out at the end of the period on January the 8th. So you can see, you get the idea uh, that we might be you know, starting to um, see quite a bit of rainfall uh, before this is over. Um, and let's see if I can put a precipitation total up here for you. Uh, let me manage that real quickly and move it out to the end of the period uh, to kind of get an idea. Uh, starting to get a little more hopeful about some of these rainfall totals. Um, you know, they're looking they're looking a little bit better. Um, let's get this up here for you uh, so you can see what it looks like. But see, these are, rainfall amounts are starting to look a little nicer. Um, two, two inches on the lower end over south central Alabama to maybe five, five and a half inches over northwest Alabama. We take that. I tell you what, that would help with our uh, drought conditions for sure. And uh, we wouldn't mind that one bit. Uh, temperatures off the national blend of models. Uh, updated here. Um, showing uh, 58 for your Tuesday, 60 for your Wednesday, maybe with the, um, uh, you know, I don't know whether we see a, a shower or something on Christmas, Christmas Day, 59, probably feeling more of an effect of that uh, east-southeasterly, uh, bit of that easterly wedge component. 62 on Friday, we'll take that. And then uh, middle 60s for Saturday and Sunday. Still mild for Monday and Tuesday for your New Year's Eve. And then uh, temperatures start to fall off a bit. Uh, now looking out into January 3rd, high is only about 51. So below normal as uh, we head into that period. Well, that's your weather briefing video for this Christmas Eve. Hope you have a wonderful day. Get everything you need to do done. Open those presents tonight. Santa comes in. Uh, have a, a very joyous day tomorrow. And um, then get ready for um, a return to the shopping malls uh, on Thursday. Uh, but uh, and, and a trip to Protective Stadium on Friday for the Birmingham Bowl. But uh, I'll have notes on the blog, an update on the forecast from Ryan Stennett coming up at noon. I'll have the uh, next video just about 3 o'clock this afternoon. I sure enjoyed doing these for you this week. And until I get to do it again this afternoon and sit in this chair, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.